Hi, this is just a quick project to understand how to mix paint. Um, I'm using acrylic paint today. Just start in my sketchbook. This is a really good uh, exploration for students with their sketchbooks. Um, basically, you can take a ruler if you'd like. I'm not using a pencil, although I would suggest it. I'm using a pen so you can see it a little better on the screen. Basically, you're just going to make a rectangle, a long rectangle, and you can split it into about eight boxes would probably be a good idea. Okay. If you want to be a little bit more fun, you can make it into something else, uh, but you still want about eight. You want students to be able to mix at least eight values of your tints and then your shades. So I don't know, you can have a little fun with it if you want to make a caterpillar or something. Basically, you start with a cup of water and a palette of paint. You're just going to want to use one color plus white and black. I often let the students choose if they want to use a square brush or a flat brush. This is actually angled a little bit and or a round brush. It doesn't really matter, but I, it's nice to get them to start using um, different brushes. So quickly, start with, just take out a scoop of white. This is going to make your tint, and you add a freckle or a tiny little bit of orange or whatever color you're using. You'll notice that this changes very, very quickly. You mix your color on your palette, not on your paper, and that'll be your second box. The first box being your pure white. Okay. Second, take another little freckle of your color. I took a little more than a freckle. And you see a gradual change. It should be quite gradual. It should not be a quick change. And that's why I say just use a small little bit each time. Mix it all on your brush and you start to really understand how many different tints you can actually get just with white and one color. Take a little freckle and again mix it to make it a little darker. Your last box. Will be pure orange. All right. Um, and as you can see, I did that here with blue. Doesn't really matter the color they choose. The next one I did was with shades, and shades are a little bit different. Um, they depend on your blacks. Some black have a little bit of blue in them. Um, but basically, again, you start with your pure color. It's good to have a paper towel with you. You don't want a lot of water on your brush. Take your pure color. And you mix, again, just a freckle of black. Black changes your color very, very quickly. And that will be your second section. Another little freckle of black. And you'll have your, ooh, I used way too much. That's a good, one, good mistake to see, though, because that would probably be this one down here. OK, if you make a mistake like that, just wash your brush really well and start again. So for tints, start with white, add a freckle of your color. For shades, start with your pure color and add a freckle of black. And that is your very valuable value scale.